Now we'll come to the very important transformations of modulus function. So from the graph of y equals to fx, I need to draw the graph of f mod x. I'll take a very simple example. Say for example, I need to draw the graph of y equals e to the power minus mod x. So I'll start with, I'll draw the graph of e to the power minus x, which is a decreasing function. So for this transformation, there are two steps. First step is, erase the graph from second and third quadrant. So I'll draw the same graph, but I won't draw it in second and third quadrant. So this is first step. Now second step is place a mirror on y axis. So place a mirror on y axis and then take the reflection of right on left. So if I take the reflection of right on left, I'll get this graph. So that is the graph of y equals e to the power minus mod x. I'll take another one. Suppose I have to draw the graph of y equals x square minus three mod x plus two. So basically, mod of x square is same as x square. So mod of x square minus three mod x and plus two. So I can write it as mod of x minus one and mod of x minus two. My basic graph is y equals x minus one into x minus two, which is Parabola opening upwards, roots at 1 and 2. So that's the graph of y equals x square minus 3x plus 2. Now I'll replace x with mod x. So my transformation is erase the graph from second and third quadrant and then take the reflection of right on left. So that is the graph of y equals x square minus 3 mod x plus 2. Now what about this? y equals ln mod x. So I'll draw the graph of y square to log x for the transformation. I'll erase the graph from second and third quadrant. So basically there is nothing in the second and third quadrant. And then I'll take the reflection of right on left. So that is the graph of y equals log mod x. Now the ninth transformation is from the graph of y equals fx, I need to draw the graph of y equals mod fx. Now say for example, I have to draw the graph of y equals mod of sin x. Now for mod of sin x, my basic graph will be y equals sin x. So I'll draw the graph of y equals sin x. Now again, there are two steps. First step is mirror on x axis and then take the reflection of down or up. So I'll place a mirror on x-axis and I'll take the reflection of down on up. And then it is the graph from third and fourth quarter. So that is the graph of y equals mod sine x. I'll take another example. So I need to draw the graph of y equals mod of mod of x minus one. Now there are two ways to draw this graph. The first way is I can draw the graph of mod x and then from mod x, I can draw the graph of y minus 1 is equal to mod x and then I can draw the graph of mod of mod of x minus 1. So if I'm going to draw the graph in this way, then first I'll draw the graph of y is equal to mod x, then y minus 1, shift the entire graph minus 1 units along y axis and then mod of mod of x minus 1. Now for mod of mod of x minus 1, take the reflection of down on up and then it is the graph from third and fourth quadrant. So basically the graph of mod of mod of x minus one will be this W shaped graph. So this question was actually asked in IIT. So what they have asked was find the points where this function is not differentiable. So it is not differentiable at minus one, zero and plus one. It is continuous for all x belongs to R, but not differentiable at minus one, zero and plus one. Another way of drawing the same graph can be I can again start with y equals to mod x and then I can find out y equals mod of x minus 1 and then I can write mod of mod of x minus 1. So again I'll start with mod x then mod of x minus 1 shifting along x axis plus 1 units and then mod of x. So it is the graph from second and third quadrant and then take the reflection of right on left. 
So again, I'll end up getting the same graph. So suppose I have to draw the graph of y equals mod of 2 upon mod of x plus 2 minus 1. So my basic graph here will be y equals 2 upon x and from here first I'll take transformation of mod x so y equals 2 mod x and then I'll shift it along x axis 2 times mod of x plus 2 and then I'll shift it along y axis y plus 1 equals 2 times mod of x plus 2 and then finally I'll take mod of fx mod of 2 times mod of x plus 2 minus 1 so y equals 2 upon x rectangular hyperbola then for mod x here is the graph from second and third quadrant take the reflection of right on left and then mod of x plus 2 shift the entire graph minus 2 units along x axis and then y plus 1 and then y plus 1 shift the entire graph minus 1 units along y axis and finally mod of fx so reflection of down on up and then erase the graph in third and fourth quadrant the graph of y equals mod of 2 times mod of x plus 2 minus 1 will be so that's the graph of this given function I'll take another example. Suppose I have to draw the graph of y equals mod of 8th power minus mod x minus half. So I'll start with y equals to 8th power minus x. And then first I'll draw the graph of 8th power minus mod of x. Then I'll shift it along y axis. y plus 2 equals 8th power minus mod x. And then I'll take the transformation of mod x. So mod of 8th power minus mod x minus 1 by 2 so for minus mod x so erase the graph from second and third quadrant and take the reflection of right on left now for y plus 1 by 2 so shift the entire graph minus 1 by 2 units along y axis so now the horizontal asymptote will be at minus 1 by 2 and the maximum value will be at plus 1 by 2 so in this equation if i'll put y is 0 I'll get x equals plus or minus ln 2. So these point of intersections will be minus log 2 and plus log 2. Now I'll take the transformation of mod fx. So mirror on x axis, reflection of down on up, and then it is the graph from third and fourth quadrant. So basically, this graph will be. So that's the graph of mod of it is bar minus mod x minus 1 by 2. So our next transformation is to draw the graph of mod y equals to fx from y equals fx. Now for this, there are two steps again. It is the graph from third and fourth quadrant. Take a mirror on x axis and then take the reflection of up on down. Say for example, suppose I have to draw the graph of mod y equals x square minus 1. So my basic graph is y is equal to x square and then first I'll take transformation of y and then I'll take transformation of mod y. So y is equal to x square is a parabola opening upwards. Now y plus 1. So shift the entire graph minus 1 units along y axis and then for mod y erase the graph from third and fourth quadrant. So mirror on x-axis take the reflection of up on down so basically this graph will be i'll take another example say for example i have to draw the graph of mod y equals mod of mod of x square minus 3 mod x and then plus 2 so I'll start with y equals x square minus 3x plus 2 and from this I'll draw the graph of y equals mod x square minus 3 mod x plus 2 and then from there I'll get y equals mod of mod of x square minus 3 mod x plus 2 and then from there I'll get mod of y equals 
mod of mod of x square minus 3 mod x and then plus 2. So basically it's a quadratic expression with two real roots. So I'll draw this graph. Now for the transformation of mod x, erase the graph from second and third quadrant and then take the reflection of right on left. So this is 1, 2 and this is minus 1 and minus 2 and this is 0, 2. Now for mod fx, take the reflection of down or up. So mirror on x-axis and take the reflection. And then erase the graph from third and fourth quadrant. So I'll get this graph as and now the next step mod y. So basically this graph will look like So that's the graph of mod y equals mod of mod of x square minus 3 mod x plus 2. Now what is a very important graph which is generally used in area and straight lines is graph of mod of x plus mod of y equals a. So here my basic graph will be x plus y equals to a and then I'll take the transformation of x, x plus y equals a and then I'll take the transformation of y also. So mod x plus mod y equals a. So let a be a positive number. I'll draw the line x plus y equals to a. So this point will be a comma zero and this point will be zero comma a. So for mod x, I'll erase the graph from second and third quadrant and then I'll take the reflection of right or left. Now for mod y, I'll erase the graph from third and fourth quadrant and then I'll take the reflection of up on down. mod x plus mod y plus a represents a square. 